Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mazda Drive Group and today we're going to look at a 2015 Mazda 2. Well, this is the Mazda 2 2015. So, you might see this car every day on the road, but not entirely like you know you don't see certain mods on a Mazda 2 like there's a few questions I would like to raise let's check it out first of all he this car as you know is a soul red Mazda 2015 soul red but he repainted it recently in this year right and I want to show you a few things okay everyone likes kits everybody loves kits so one of the kits that he installed is a night spot right so it's a it has a nice aero design right that fits nicely into the car and then the front grills i think what he did was he just uh i think he wrapped it yeah he might have wrapped this one and then he wrapped this to make mimic carbon all around all this right and then um he changed this to led lights right and um this is uh you got fog lamps which is hid apparently right so he's more into this cosmetic parts but he did also did some tweaks right so if you look over here right how many people these days with a mazda 2 have a bbk sometimes i guess it's the driver's preference and maybe the way he likes it to be driven and maybe the way he drives so what is the bbk that we have here for today this is an ap racing 5200 caliper which is a four port four port with does look like a 330 mm disc or 335 i'm not so sure but it's i can see it's cross drilled right and this is a lenso i believe is a flow form rim with ps4 tires <laughs> That means, in a lightweight car, he not only has a sufficient amount of power, but he's able to do cornerings. And, of course, main safety is brakes. All right, down to the sides, we have the side skirts, which are from Spirit R. I believe they're from Japan or so. But if you guys have any other idea, uh, right in the comments huh? we saw the front like how that that has a bbk but instead of having bbks because this car is just good the way it is when it comes to braking he just had uh, installed another cross dri uh, cross drill uh, ventilated brake disc right the calipers stock the rims are pretty much all round right so these are 17 inch all round right i believe they are uh, about 8j smack like the side skirts which is spirit r it came with the bump uh well rear diffuser which is also a spirit r so you know when we install these kind of things it doesn't actually give all that kind of purpose uh full functionality because you know you're not all that lowered and going ready for track but aesthetically it's beautiful it's really beautiful these are spirit r rear diffusers but if you guys would like to see further on the cosmetic specs it's in the description below the interior of a Mazda 2, you know, the high spec usually comes in all leather. I mean, they come in this kind of spec, uh, which is, uh, I would say, it's quite appealing, uh, you know, to this segment, you know, uh, B segment. And guess what? This is his key. It's blue. Yeah, I know it's contrasting with the carbon mimic wrap. And what else he did in his interior besides this thing, which always is in the interior? I think I can see a few things that he has done. One of which is the first thing you touch. So that being the gear knob, which is, I believe it's CF, total CF. Okay, the difference how you can compare CF and a uh, wrap version, you can see the resin. Underneath the resin, you'll see the carbon fiber. See, it bends properly, see? You can see a flaw inside there. That means this is original, the way I see CF. And uh, yeah and we have the pedal shift you know it has um, the extenders so this is by Savanini. i don't know it sounds italian but 
I think either way it looks appealing. I guess you wanted to go with the blue, uh, blue uh, medium in some sense. You know, you wanted to go with something blue. So this is Savani. Well, people would ask like, why, why do people just want to install this kind of things? I guess to me, I guess it's just because it looks cool, you know, because the original ones are pretty hidden behind the steering wheel and I'm sweating like a bitch. But either way, yeah, it, look, it feels nice. You know, it's cold, you know, outside weather hot. You know, it's, it's quite nice, it's quite neat. And he has this, uh, you know, you don't have a bucket seat. You just put this guy on. I guess that works. All right, so he has installed the front strut bars and the rear sway bars, which is underneath the car. And pretty much everything is stock. You can't see it because he has installed a drop-in air filter, which is a works engineering one. A power stabilizer that, uh, that increases or extends the uh, battery life, which is this guy over here, the 16 volt. Well, I guess you want to take care of your car you gotta like have the goods and this car of course was tuned by your very own torque foundry Nigel and he has uh, as it seems a throttle controller which is called TMO Alpha well that is the throttle controller I guess yep well improved throttle response it also gives quieter engine noise rather than your loud engine vibration and I don't know your it gives you a little uh, hiccups here and there but this thing does the job all right so you can see again the car is quite low so found out that he actually installed the uh, new set of coilovers which are called TN Flex Z so I guess uh, it's a stiffer ride but good for toge In the car out for a spin. <laughs> Usually I don't do this but you know in our days of uh, you know Malaysia being a very very you know congested country it's good to drive a small little car with a little bit of power and what more than a car like this. Yeah. I have to be really careful and I feel that and it's quite narrow I mean like low low being Malaysians we try our best to make do with our situations you can feel how stiff the teens are see how the response by Thought Foundry you know as for me I don't usually drive with pedals let's try So I gotta pedal this thing. Not bad for a small car, but yes, I do understand when Justin was saying it's slightly vibrating. Okay. Nice corner. Woo! You don't get much of uh, this kind of small little thrills from a small little compact B segment. You might compare it with any other brands but something about Mazda and I'm not being biased I mean uh, I've driven a few other B segments but I can feel that level of comfort I just want to have a little fun before Justin gives me a call Nani? Crap Oh my god Hey friend, what's up? Hey Joe, where are you now? Uh, I'm around. I'm around, bro. What's up? Where's my, where's my car? You promised at 5 p.m. I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not nearby, bro. Trust me, bro. I'm nearby. I'm nearby. Don't worry, bro. I'm coming. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, bro. 
I will be there. Don't worry. Oh yo, shit! No, don't worry, bro. I'm really there, bro. Don't worry, bro. I'm nearby, bro. Sumpah, bro. We'll be there, bro. Better be, bro. Don't keep me waiting so long. Okay, sorry, boss. Sorry, boss. <laughs> Looks like uh, Justice not very happy. So I guess I have to make uh, with haste. You know, I think I wiped the car enough around uh, a, a wide area. Uh, his his mileage is still okay. <laughs> Sorry bro. Aye. But you say you'll be on time. Uh, I had a traffic jam. Traffic jam and then it rained. Yeah. It rained. So so this one this one I washed also. So now looks better. <sighs> Hey bro, what's up? By the way, up? nice car. Thank you. I just need one favor. What is it? I need a ride back home if that's okay with you. No. Why? Come on, man. It's just around the corner. No, Joe. I'm not free. Oh, come on, bro. No, bro. Oh, come on. Go. Bye bye. Ah, oh, dude. Come on. It's just nearby.